Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part number 10 of Lumion Legacy Veils of Shadow. <sighs> we are back and almost at probably the last city of our current adventure. And I guess we're gonna go right into it? Maybe? I mean, you don't, you don't want to battle. Uh, it's a busy city that prides itself on technology and advancements. It also has been pretty dirty city ever since Polo Corp moved its headquarters to Severin. Okay. Yeah, it has a, a it has a different wipe, like tile, like. Oh, um, that like, looks good from here, but it also like it kind of I don't know. You maybe know what I mean, right? It doesn't look like a great city, but it also doesn't look like a village, <laughs> obviously. Okay. Also, there's stuff down there. Uh, but I guess to save us some time, we're gonna go that way first. What is that? Okay, we are not allowed to go in here, so there is something, probably. Question is, does it go down there? Maybe. I'm not sure. If it's leading us to a secret path or not. Okay! Let's go, you're our first opponent. So, I didn't see his name. Perrin! Okay. Alrighty, Perrin, let's see what you have to fight against us. Something we are not effective against. Maybe we can try Bamboozle. Halfway down, that's fine. Okay, so it's a flying type, I'd say. And it looks pretty tired or drugged. That's almost a level up. Mm -hmm. Champactor, oh god, not again. What is... Oh, uh, what was it? Like, what did we use against it? Like, do I keep using Bamboozle? Or was Bamboozle bad? Bamboozle was, Bamboozle was pretty bad. My speed fell. Well, if that's all you do, then I'm fine. And Chomp is not effective against me anyways. So yeah, I guess we're fine with that. I also wonder where, where its speed boost is coming from. Is it from taking damage? Or just from... Um, does it just raise over rounds, no matter what? Okay, level 31. Trying to learn sharpen. <laughs> ah, you know, dude, I'm, I'm like, no. Thanks. My tag must be broken. <laughs> yeah, indeed. In -de 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 indeed. Okay, um, officer. You wouldn't happen to be up to no good now, would you? I think a battle will help me see what kind of person you are. A strong one. So, better go back. Also, I guess being a police officer is pretty difficult in these worlds. Worlds, Like, oh, ah, okay, there's double ineffectiveness. Um, like, of course you're kind of an, kind of an authority, but... If all you do is battling with Lumions, then what happens if you lose? You would need to have the strongest maximum IV trained, so that's probably your training. If you want to be an officer, you need something that has at least 5 out of 6 IVs or something. Pooch roll. Is it the same thing? Of course. Cause, cause what now? Like, they're scared of getting attacked by Lumions, right? So, if he loses, and that will most likely be the case, then how would he arrest me? Because I still have my whole team behind me. Um, yeah. He is flipped. And we are free. You appear to be a very compassionate trainer. I believe you're an, <laughs> you're an innocent. Eh, you have no choice, man. Alrighty, there's more st oh god, he looks interesting. Okay, dude. Uh, there's a hole, and I don't know what it's about, but I'm not gonna... ...question it. Also, something is happening here. But I don't know what. Something very strange has been happening for the last few weeks here in Sephiroth. Some sort of weird energy puzzles keep knocking out the power stations located all over the city. 
What's even str stranger is that the pulses seem to be coming from Polycorp. I wonder what is going on in their labs. Uh huh. And this is locked. Okay. Ah, well. There's also something happening. But I guess we're not allowed to use the ladder. Nope. So, we're just gonna go in there. That took less time than I thought. <laughs> but hey, maybe we can take out the tamers on the streets. Oh god, this looks really bad. Partially organic looming utilities and, te and technology. Okay. This is slightly less cool than I thought it would be. Like, it's... I mean, it's... it's Nah. I mean, in uh, cool in terms of good city. But yeah, it's pretty fucked up, apparently. Kinda sad. I still just one ace disc all the time, telling me that I've spent 50 Robux. Was it 50? Or was it 25? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, how many do I have to spend? I can't even buy one. Oh wait, I can't can buy one here. Yeah, 50, okay. Uh, we can buy small mats. What is... Ah, the repellent, yeah, okay. Uh, we can buy capture dust, medium mats, and whisk bottles. Okay. Then... I'd say we're gonna take a look at... A gym? Question mark? If it has one? Like, this is the police station. What is in here? Hello. I hope you're staying out of trouble. The crime rate in this town has gone up since Polycorp moved in. We have lots of new Polit cyber attack to catch criminals easier, so don't get any funny ideas. Okay. You have to relay a search request for stolen item. We will have to put you on a list. <laughs> okay. Yikes. Criminals everywhere. Kinda sad. Uh, Polycorp? Polycorp? I guess that's where we have to go, so I'm checking around here. What is this? That's just... A flat, as it seems. I'm not reading that out right now. Just want to see if there's anything interesting. But I guess not. They also have, like... Pro... Prothesis or something? Like, these, these things about their arms, their gloves. I don't know what they're for. Uh, in here is nothing interesting, I assume. Yep. Talking to you probably has no point either. Oh, item. Pogchamp. Uh, I don't know what power fruits are again. But I guess power fruits are like... Um, wear candies. When for, <laughs> if it's with power level and raises to the next level, yep. Okay, so we're gonna use that pretty late if even. Alrighty, uh da, 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 da. New sushi stick, power bagel. Okay, it's pretty interesting though, must admit. Uh what is this? So there are no rooms available right now. Okay, that's a hotel or something? As it seems. Okay. Then we're going. Mm, then we're taking a look at the shops. Welcome to Power Bagel. Ah, yeah. We're going to use this we deliver during weekdays. Okay, just decoration. You are a trainer, maybe? Okay. Nothing interesting to say either. That's Brad's... Brad's Bread? <laughs> nice name, but also useless shop, I guess. Okay, so we can go down there. Or we can go into Paulet Corp. Battle Theater. Ah, okay. Route 8. Okay, and Route 8 is closed currently. Alrighty. Then I'd say we're gonna take a look at the door. We are maybe not allowed to enter. Before we go into the Battle Theater. Yeah, we're allowed to go in there. Okay, let's see. Paulet Campus. 
Oh, yikes. Okay, hi. Uh-huh. More stuff. I'm still wondering what these gloves are about. Still wondering. So, Polycarp, Polycarp. Uh, welcome to Polycarp. If you're here to get your own cyber gear, you will need to join our waiting list. Our next opening is approximately three years. <laughs> Yikes. Please wait for your tour guide. Okay. Good, so that's nothing we can get now, I guess. So, Bullet Corp, okay. Okay, that's nothing interesting for now, I guess. We're straight up heading to the Battle Theater. Uh, but I still don't know what it is about. I don't know if we can beat it in 15 minutes. Would be nice, but I'm not sure. Let's hope. So, heading down here. Uh, that's another... This seems like I could click it. But I can't, sad. Uh, Pollute Corp. Yep, that's what I thought. Hey, wait up! Call you again? Oh, hey, it's you. You remember me, right? Hmm. Yeah, okay, it's Lucas, yeah. What was your name again? Oh, boy. That's an easy name to remember. I last saw you on Rule 4 when my friend Mabel told my sister and I to battle you. You must be here to take on the Battle Theater Challenge, right? That must have been you I heard about on the news after you beat the Battle Star of Hyra Village. Two Battle Theater compl Two Battle Theater completions? Already is pretty impressive. Oh, me? I was out getting some snacks for Mabel and Lucy. We're here to watch the Battle Theater Challenge live. Hey, that reminds me. I wanted to say sorry about the last time we met. I mean, when Mabel and... When Mabel had Lucy and I battle you out of the blue, maybe it can be a little rough around the edges. She carries with her a lot of negative emotions from some family related problems. It puts a lot of stress on her. It's all because her mother won't let her. There you are, Lucas. What took you so long and why are you talking to this loser? I'm sorry, Mabel. I got you and Lucy some power bagels for the show. Power bagels? We said we wanted sushi. Sorry, the sushi place didn't look very clean and I. Great, not only is the battle theater closed, but you also bought us the wrong snacks. God damn it. Uh, stop being an asshole! Mm. Yeah, Ticket Dog inside said that the battle star is off at Pilot Corp, getting some of her cyber gear tuned. Apparently she goes there at the same time every week to make sure her gears always has the latest updates. Pilot Corp does sound like it would be an interesting place to visit. I heard that Pilot Corp... <laughs> I heard that Polo Corp trademark has very recently been designing and manufacturing new lumens to take care of the city. No way, how does that even work? That sounds totally cool. Sponsored by Polo Corp trademark. Hey, I have an idea. How about we all <laughs> go take a tour of Polo Corp trademark together? Would you, <laughs> would you want to come with us, Pi? Hold on, Lucas. I'm okay with going on a tour of Polo Corp trademark, but why are you inviting them? Oh, come on, Mabel. It won't hurt to let someone else tag along just this one time, will it? Plus, Poi has two Battle Theater medals and is planning on challenging the separate Battle Theater. Isn't that cool? Two Battle Theater medals, huh? Well, let's make a deal then. If Poi can beat you and Lucy in battle, they can- I ALREADY DID! They never were close to beating me! They have no chance! Not this again, Mabel. Sip it, Lucas. I'm up for it. I could use some more practice. Alright, fine. I'll go first. <laughs> As much as I want you to come with us, boy, I hate losing battles even more. May the best trainer win. <laughs> oh, Lucas! No! You're not an idiot! Stop doing it! Just give up! I will bamboozle you to death anyways! You can't dodge! You will die! <laughs> Lucas! Okay, we're not battling the theater as it seems. A mug blast. What is a mug blast? Strong apparently. Hmm. I might get rid of pestilence. 
Yeah. Oh no, I might get rid of double sting. Ah, uh, shit. You know what? I'm gonna go with with slime. Okay, fuck it. I don't need to poison. Poison moves. One is enough. Lucas about to send Burroach. Okay. Ugh. But Airblade will do it. I zip! And it's dead. Right. XP to all of us. Ignil 23. Elegrana sounds water. Oh my god. Glad Bamboozle is effective. Ouch. Mm-hmm. And it's dead. So, 600 experience for us. That's a lot of experience for one battle. But hey, I take it. That was a good battle. Yep. <laughs> uh-huh. I forgot how tough you were. Well, I wasn't just taking it easy on you so that I could move with us. A bad part. Now let's see how do you do against Lucy. God, Mabel. I don't know. Just... Like... Can't you just get one and lose yourself? So you know how it feels if your ego is getting crushed? <laughs> I don't know. Always letting your useless partners find me. I don't know. It's... Mmm, just no. Whimper. What is whimper? Oh, that one. That one, okay. Yep, two hits will be enough. I hope I can heal up though before we go into the uh, corp thing. <laughs> Bamboozle! But seeing how long this battle takes, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of glad we didn't start a theater yet. Uh, Ragoon, I might need some more. I might need some more training, like some more level ups. I mean, I could just use these power berries to level up my Batman, but nah, nah. Oh, um. You know what we change? Um, who could be a good one for this? Wait, let me check. What is effective and what not? Darkness is not effective. Wind isn't either. So, let's try Cradle. Why not? Fire is always good, right? If you want to burn things. So then, yep, yeah, fire is always great. Told you. Range attack fell. <laughs> Die. Oops. Apparently not strong enough. Yikes. Oh, also my range attack is falling. Let its guard down. Oh, that's a problem. Bye bye. I zip. You dead. I'm still pretty sure defense goes down when you do this. Oh, Batman 32. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, not again. Yep. Who would have expected? Oh. Oh. But I'm not getting anything. Ah. Huh. But yeah, interesting. I like how the game motivates you to play with all your lumens. So maybe I try my hardest. Well, I hate to admit it, but you aren't so bad in battle. Does that mean Pike can come with us to pull a corp trademark, Mabel? Yeah, we agreed on it, didn't we? Well, let's not just stand around here all day. The entire the entrance to Pollard Corp trademark is back on the other end of the town. We will wait for you outside their main office building. Don't keep us waiting. Woohoo! We'll see you there, Poi. 
Huh? <laughs> oh man. Okay, then I'd say we're gonna heal up and then visit Pilot Corp, right? Or do we do that in the next part? I don't know. We have 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, I guess. Since I want to give you some content, but I don't want the episodes to be too long, since... Yeah, it also equally erases the amount of time it needs to process and upload, etc, etc. Hmm... I guess we might just take it to the next part. Is there a cutscene now? Took you long enough. Yay, you made it! I call ahead and someone will be waiting for us to give a tour. I want to see how they make... F I want to see how they make those cute little Lumians. They aren't cute. Most of them are made specifically to pick up trash and fill the air. I know that, but I still think they are cute. Alright, well, if we're all here, let's go in. Hey, wait a minute, I know you. Oh no. Long time no see, it's Pi, right? We met a Gal Galvanite cave. I'm sorry about that whole ordeal. I wasn't quite feeling myself. I hope you are able to put that behind and uh, uh, behind us and start over again. Hey, boy, who's your friend? <laughs> oh, that's right. I never introduced myself. My name is Jake. <laughs> oh, Jake. And uh, your names? My name's Mabel, and these are my friends, Lucy and Lucas. Uh, Mabel, are you feeling alright? So you know this Lucy too, right? What's what's a guy like you doing hanging out some uh, one like Pi? Actually, we haven't exactly hung out. We've only really met once and we battled. As much as I hate to admit I lost the battle, we went our separate ways after that. Oh, you're a trainer too? My friends and I are all trainers. But maybe we don't have any... <coughs> so... <laughs> Sorry. So what brings you out there today, Jake? Well, I came to check out Polar Corp trademark headquarters. Word, uh, word has it they are leagues ahead of the rest of the world in, techno in technological advancements. I was hoping they would be able to help me with a certain predicament. Predicament? Predicament? No way! We were just about to take a tour of Polycorp trademark headquarters. Why didn't you come along with us? Wait, did Mabel seriously just invite a stranger on her own? A tour? Yeah, that would work perfectly. That would allow me to check the place on the roughly. Do roughly? The rough? I don't know. Truly? Oh, Jake, you're so funny. We're going to make great friends, I can tell. Oh, haha, <laughs> okay. Well, let's not just stand around here. Let's go inside and get our truth started. Yay, finally, cute lumens, here we come! Oh, go. Oh, go. Oh, god. We're gonna take a tour with Jake. Welcome to Polycorp, trademark. How may I help you? Uh, I called a little while ago, about an hour. Uh, about a tour, <laughs> about an hour. Uh, is this a right place for those? It sure is. Are you all together? Yes, all five of us. Alright, we'll actually be your true- Well, I will actually be your tour guide today. Before we get started, let me quickly explain what we'll be doing today. Our tour will take you through several of our important workspaces here in Pilot Corp Trademark, as I explain the purposes of each one. Do any of you have any questions before we get started? Do we get to play with the cute little lumens you guys make here? You will not be allowed to interact with lumens here in the facility. If you would like to interact with our lumens, you are welcome to do so in the city or the wild. Ah, oh, okay. Alright, if there are no more questions, let's get started. Please follow me. Our first stop, the think tank. In this room, some of our brightest come up with the ideas that leads us into the future. It was in this very room that the concept of creating artificial lumens to help take care of the city was first developed. Our other inventions such as cyber attachment and accessories are developed here as well. We even have a special custom glass separating us from the employees. The glass scatters the light reflecting from the whiteboard marker ink, making it impossible for us to see what they have written. This way we can give tours without revealing any secrets in the development. development. Whoa, that's futuristic, alright! Oh, I wanna see leaks of the new lumens they're working on. That's pretty neat, right Jake? Secret technology? I wonder what other sorts of things they work on in secret. I was just thinking the same thing, Jake. Oh, buddy. Alright, are there any other questions? 
Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Follow me, everyone. I like also how the hair is kind of cut out here. Like, I don't like it. It's it's a mistake, but yeah. Just wanted to mention it. This room is one of many here in the facility where we manuf manufacture our products. This line, is particular, this line in particular is creating parts that will be used to create some of our artificial lumens. Once assembled, the lifeless machines will be taken to another room where they are brought to life, using the energy-rich soul crystals, which I found all throughout Roria. Our magnificent leader, Dr. Vanta, was the one who discovered that these crystals could be used to bring his inventions to life. As a child, Dr. Vanta was taught the crystals brought about all life on our planet, which is what sparked this inspiration. So that means a crystal I came across in Galvan, a Galvanite cave is called a soul crystal? That's incredible! I wonder what else they are capable, uh, capable of. We have a division here in Pollard Corp Trademark that studies the soul crystal's unique properties and behaviors. They believe that these crystals could even potentially awaken powers within Lumions that we have never imagined. Now that sounds really very interesting. Are we going to visit that division on our tour by any chance? No, unfortunately that area is restricted to Paulette's personnel. Identified by a badge like the one I wear on my shirt. Oh, I see. Yeah, that would be so cool to see. Wasn't there a place in Seven City that did stuff with the soul crystals? Yeah, I remember something about soul crystals when we were there. You must be thinking of the power plant that converts the soul crystals into electrical energy. Our leader, Dr. Vanta, believes that crushing soul crystals to collect electrical energy is a crude waste of their true potential. Are there any other questions? Okay, follow me to the last stop of the tour. Oh boy, they always save the best for the last. I can't wait! Is that food I smell? It sure is. Our last stop is the cafeteria. Uh, we provide lunch for everyone, free of charge. The cafeteria? I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. I'd never turn down free food. I haven't eaten yet today, so this is perfect. I hope they have pizza. Lucas, you only think about food and Lumians. Yep. What? That's not true. <laughs> we'll have one hour before Polo deploys after break and need to use the caf uh, cafeteria. Cafeteria? Cafeteria? I don't know. I'll come back for you when it's time. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, cool. Let's go see what they have got. Nom. So let me get this straight. You're traveling around your own looking for a bunch of spooky rocks that contain mysterious powers. And I'm just sitting here eating pizza? Pizza? And you think there is one here in Savarite City? So is that what's been causing <laughs> all those lumens to go rogue? 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 I don't know. Um, from what Poi said, the broken pieces of the stone tablet are definitely connected to corrupt lumens. That's so scary. Who's, uh, who is behind all of this? In my experience, these sorts of things happen as a result of someone ma meddling with powers that should have been left alone. Sounds like you've been through a lot, huh, Jake? Yeah, Jake, what's your story? It's kinda complicated. I'd rather not talk about it right now. Leave Jake alone, Lucas. It's his business. Sorry, I wasn't trying to pry. It's okay. Let's just say that I'm sort of stuck. <laughs> and my stepbrother's not helping me at all, and I'm looking for a way out of <laughs> out of the tough situation. Oh, so mysterious. I like that. Maybe you've been acting kinda of funny today. Are you feeling okay? Anyway. So, Poi, you said you've found two of those weird stones. If there are eight in total, you still have a long way to go, right? It sounds like coming into direct contact with them makes people and Lumians powerful and chaotic. If they aren't collected quickly, everyone would, could be in danger. That is true. I can't believe that you're collecting those tablets all by yourself. Your bravery is inspiring. I had a friend who was once uh, faced with similar choices. That was me, by the way. You remind me a lot of them. Hmm. It's so tough being the hero all alone, that's why I've decided I want to help you. I've been running into dead ends in my personal endeavors. It feels pretty hopeless, but after hearing your story, Poi, I almost feel like I'm meant to be here. Please allow me to help you any way I can. Wait, really? 
Well then, I want your help too. If what you're saying is true, it's too dangerous to do it all by yourself. Yeah, way too... Way too dangerous. Count me in two. Lucas can't do anything without my help. Yeah, hey, that's not true. Yeah, whatever. What about you, Mabel? What do you think? I... I can't. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, Mabel. Wait, what's wrong? Well, Mabel isn't... My mom let me have my... Uh, let me... My mom won't let me have my own Lumians. When I was a kid, well, there was an accident. My mother wouldn't let me train Lumians after that. I failed my mother and now she thinks of me as useless. She recently sent me away to learn about Lumians from a school in Chesmatown. I guess she didn't think it was worth her time to try to teach me herself. My best friends in the whole world, Lucas and Lucy, came with me because they didn't want me to have to go alone. But that school only reminded me of my failure, so we left. Now we're here. now we're just run wandering about. Wandering about? I'm just a failure, and I'm too afraid to tr of training with Lumians. Mabel. I'm sorry, that sounds awful. There was a time when I also thought of myself as a failure. Uh, heck, I used to be a not good coward. I believed I was weak, and because of it, I became weak. And something happened to someone I cared about, I had to make a choice. I could either run away and remain weak, or let go of the past and take control of my future. <laughs> oh god, that's... yikes. I made, a I made my decision, casting all fear and doubts aside. In the end, I was able to save them. Or at least, I think I did. That part is still a mystery, but I have faith it turned out well in the end. Anyway, my point is, you decide your future. Whether you can or can't, something is, uh, can't do is something... Whether you can or can't do something is up to you. Letting your past do your future will fe with fear will only result in more regret for your decisions. So you don't even know what happened in the end? Like I said, that's part, that part is complicated, but that's not the takeaway. I think you're right, Jake. It's... I've not been able to enjoy anything in life because I've labeled myself as a failure for so long. I can't live like that anymore. So I'm saying I'm not going to let what my mother thinks hold me back anymore. I count me in. If there's anything Lucy, Lucas or I can do uh, can do to help, we will do it. That's the spirit, Mabel. Mabel, I haven't seen you this de uh, determined in a long time. Uh, this has got me so excited now. Well, there's, there you have it, boy. Anything you need, we will help get it done. This is awesome. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll be like a superhero team from the movies, except we don't all have matching uniforms. Hey, since we are the team now, should we add each other on our Lumi watches so we can call each other when something happens? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that real quickly. All right, I think that's everyone. All right, everyone, it's time. If we will just. Stack your trays by the trash and follow me. I will guide you all back to the lobby. Oh, it's been an hour already? That went by so quickly. Let's talk more outside. Thank you all for taking interest in Polycorp trademark. I hope the tour was ed educational and fun. Let your friends and family know about your experience here. Thanks, miss. Well, guys, how about we get back out there and start looking for clues about that next stone thing? We could try asking around the battle theater. After all, people gather there from all around. It would be a good place to gather information. And where are they going to challenge the battle theater, Pi? Oh yeah, that's right. We should go back there now. Excuse me? Did I hear that someone was going to take the battle theater challenge? Oh yeah. I was planning on challenging the battle theater. Is that so? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Faust. If you challenge the battle theater, then there is a chance you and I will get to battle each other. Wait, you're, you're a Separate City's battle star? I watched a special on TV about you. And I don't remember you, apparently. <laughs> you survived an accident and Polo Corp trademark saved your life and gave you all kinds of cyber enhancements. That's right. I just finished getting my cyber gear updated. Polo Corp trademark is kind enough to recalibrate and tune my gear every week, making sure I always tip top shape for my battle performances. And thanks to Faust, we are able to spread awareness of our life-changing technology. Oh, Dr. Vanta. I wasn't expecting to see you come in today. I would, have in, I would have had a coffee prepared for you if I knew. Oh, it's not a problem, Lydia. By the way, where's our identification card? They are supposed to be kept on, our, on your coat. Oh, I must have misplaced it earlier when I was giving a tour. I will retrace my staffs and find it. Very well. Hurry back when you find it. We have people waiting for the cyber upgrades. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry about that, Faust. 
Where were we? I was just telling these young people about my cyber gear. Oh yes, Faust is equipped with state-of-the-art gear. It allows you to act quickly in battle. You can bet she's a fierce opponent. All of our technology is de uh, developed to give people their lives back. As well as to enhance the average person's life. Our mission here at Pollard Corp Trademark is to bring humanity closer to a utopian society. I really do owe Pollard Corp Trademark and Dr. Vanta all that I have. After my accident, I thought my life was over. I heard about Pollard Corp Trademark and <laughs> Subway Tag, and I hope a normal life was reignited. We were happy to help. After we gave Faust her new limbs and skipped <laughs> part of the dialogue, because of her story, the word got out about what do we, uh, what we do here. We owe a lot of our growth to her, so I'd say we're even. Since then, we have also developed our very own lumens that are unique combinations of digital and organic. They were each created to play a positive role in their res respective habitats. That's right, many of the people in this town, including me, have some of these lumens as companions. If you happen to find any of these lumens in the wild, feel free to capture a few. After all, the more people have them, the more people will hear about us. It's basically a free advertisement. That's funny, Dr. Vanta. Anyway, thank you again for the tune-up uh, tune this week. I've been away from the Battle of Vieta for too long, so I need to get... Uh, I need to get back. Oh, don't let me keep you any longer. I've got to get back to work too. I've been working on something very exciting and must I get back to. See you next week, Faust. Goodbye, Dr. Vanta. It's not every day that you run into the CEO of Polycorp trademark right in the lobby. Anyway, I must be going. I hope to see you at the Battle for Vieta later. Goodbye for now. Oof, I must part ways for a little time. Sorry. I'm sorry, I won't be... Uh, I'm sorry I won't be able to join you at the P Battle Theater Pie. Oh, do you really have to go already? There's something I need to look into for now. I will call you on your Lumi watch when I'm ready to meet back up. See you in a bit. Bye, Jake. Oh, brother. Well, boy, you should get ready to, uh, to go tackle the Battle Theater Challenge. We'll head over there now so we have enough time to get seats before you go in. We will ask around and see if we can find any information on your missing stone pieces too. Yeah, let's all meet back up when you're done. Good luck, Poi. Don't you dare lose or I'm going to be really mad. And she's back to normal now. I'm only kidding. Let's go, guys. Oof, that was longer than I expected. But I have to say a few words. So, besides the fact that I wonder why they create machines and just let them out in the wild if they have no actual mission so they want trainers to catch them but there are no actual lumians or like if they are then they are still not natural because they have to recreate them bef otherwise they would need to kill lumians kinda or demontage them to do uh, kind of weird i don't know but something i that was in my mind when i was in a ca uh, cafeteria is that jake in the Pokemon Brick Bros game, which is the game they made before this, which got taken down by Nintendo. Oh my god. Uh Okay, yeah, he's just telling me. Uh Okay, metal type. Okay, metal type. He told me that the gym is metal type and that my Lumia watch seems to be broken, at least from the status reports, but it's probably not. <laughs> okay, Jake, in the game they made before, the Pokemon Brick Bronze game, Jake was a total loser. And yeah, right, at the end, I don't know what he did exactly, but what I can tell you, I mean, I, I don't know what led to that, but in the end we were forcing, uh, we were facing Hooper. Uh, maybe you know that one, it's a pretty new legendary, and Hooper was creating a dimensional rift, he was jumping in, or he was getting dragged in, I don't remember exactly. And at that point he was dragged in, and went to another dimension, and then the game got taken down, sadly. That's that's the sad part about it. Um, he got dragged down, and they couldn't finish their story because the game got taken down, and at the start of Lumen Legacy, as a spoiler, and not as a spoiler, as a teaser, Jake got taken into this world. Before we got, basically before we woke up and became a trainer. And now he's having that story. What's pretty sad about it, but also pretty good, is, I mean, this game got taken down, so we could never finish Pokemon Break Bros, which is kind of sad, because I was actually really involved in it. Um, not involved, but 
I was really engaged to beat the game and I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, but if this game wouldn't have been taken down, they couldn't make that. And I think this game is actually pretty good in terms of storyline. It's, of course, it's not a triple A title, but for a Roblox game, it's definitely one of the better ones. And without it being taken down, we wouldn't have been able to experience that. So I'm kind of sad, but kind of happy about seeing that scene right now in the cafe uh, cafeteria. Because of me knowing what happened before. Like Jake was, every time he sat that I, I saw this little Roblox Jake, who looked like me basically, just a bit more blocky, getting drawn into the rift and being gone and everyone being sad. But yeah, now he is a grown up man as it seems. Battling his way back to the other dimension, which he will sadly never reach, what I know since... I mean, they can pretend he reaches it, but he will never be able to go back to Pokemon Break Bros. They can never make, like, a crossover coming back from the Dark Wheels of Shadow since this game is gone. This is super sad, and I wish it wouldn't be. Yikes. That was pretty emotional for me, but yeah, that's just me. If you're not fam uh, familiar with Pokemon Break Bros, this scene was probably just... Random characters telling a story. Anyway, 41 minutes, maybe 39 if I'm lucky. Super long point, I hope it's not out of sync. And I hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.